Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, passion for excellence. Dow Automotive Systems, innovations for clean powertrain solutions. And by Hyundai. Experience the 2011 Hyundai Sonata today at HyundaiSonata.com. This is AutoLine Daily for the last working day in the month of April in what they call 2011 in the year of our Lord and now the news. But no news about that royal wedding, not on this show. No mention of Kate's diamond tiara, no pointing out the queen's yellow hat. No talk about how they supposedly left the house this morning in a Rolls Royce Phantom 6 limousine special. Uh -huh. We're talking about the news where the first quarter earnings from automakers all over the world are pouring in and the results are really impressive. Daimler sold over 460,000 cars and trucks worldwide, a 15% increase over last year. It brought in more than $36 billion in revenue and posted a net profit of $1.7 billion. Kia sold nearly 620,000 vehicles, but obviously Kia doesn't get nearly as much money per car as Mercedes does. It pulled in almost $10 billion in revenue and posted a net profit of $890 million, which is up a jaw-dropping 91%. And you know, it's not just the automakers. Borg Warner, the supplier company, reported record revenue of $1.7 billion, up 34%, and its profit nearly doubled to $124 million. By the way, we'll have Tim Manganello on AutoLine Detroit next weekend. He's the CEO and chairman of Borg Warner, so you can learn a lot more about what this company is about and why it's doing so well. And you know, we're going to see more earnings next week, and all this shows the auto industry is roaring back from the big collapse of just three years ago. Wards reports that Ford has been caught by surprise by the strong demand for its EcoBoost engine in the F-150 pickup. Trucks equipped with the 3.5-liter twin-turbo intercooled direct injection engine are literally flying off the lots. 35% of buyers are buying that engine, which has plenty of power and offers better fuel economy than a V8. Presumably, sales are rocketing along because of higher fuel prices. But remember, Ford is charging them $1,750 for the optional EcoBoost engine. Dealers say it's flying off the lots, taking only 13 days on average to turn. And the hardest to get versions are the 4x4 ones. Now let's see. Multiply F-150 sales by 35% and that by $1,750. <laughs> wow! That engine in the F-150 alone is bringing in $30 million more a month for the Ford Motor Company. Facebook is the hot social network right now and it seems like everyone and their grandmother has an account with the website. Celebrities and even corporations are getting in on the action too. Have you ever wondered who has the most engaged fans of all? Could it be Lady Gaga? Is Bieber fever sweeping the internet like it has the nation? Well, if you think it's either one of these red-hot musicians, you're wrong. According to socialcarnews.com, Audi has the most engaged fans of all, averaging 47 more likes per post than the competition. Now, keep in mind, this includes all of Facebook not just other automakers, and that's pretty amazing. Hey, speaking of liking things, give us a like at facebook.com slash Autoline Detroit. Mazda North America announced that Robert Davis is being promoted to senior vice president of the company's newly created U.S. operations group. He'll now be in charge of all U.S. sales operations and training, marketing, customer service, parts, owner loyalty, dealer development, public relations, and dealer affairs. He reports to Jim O'Sullivan, president and CEO of Mazda North America. The race is on to find New York City's Taxi of Tomorrow. As you might remember, the competition is down to three finalists, including the Ford Transit Connect, the Nissan NV200, and what seems like a total dark horse, the V1. No, not Hitler's vengeance weapon, the V1 buzz bomb. We're talking about the Karzan V1. Maybe this Turkish delight has a better chance of winning than we might think. Because to get an edge in the competition, the New York Daily News reports the company has vowed it's going to build these taxis in Brooklyn. 
the factory could employ as many as 800 people. The Nissan offering is built in Japan. Ironically, the Ford Transit Connect is made in Turkey. And the three of them are competing for a billion dollar contract. Lincoln says its customers love all-wheel drive. So far this year, 72% of MKT customers and 62% of MKX and Navigator buyers have gone for all-wheel drive. However, it's not as popular with sedan customers. Just under half of MKS buyers and only a quarter of MKZ customers have opted for all-wheel drive. Coming up next, how is it possible that people in South America could love their Chevrolets more than the people in North America? We'll be talking about that with Joel Awanek. How does 12 million impressions grab you? Get your advertising message in front of the most engaged automotive consumers in the world. Call me, Stacy Eman, at 586-255-1364. Introducing Bridgestone's third generation of run-flat tires with groundbreaking new Bridgestone technologies. Bridgestone run-flat tires offer improved ride comfort, lower rolling resistance, and improved wear while giving you the peace of mind and comfort you need. This week's AutoLine Detroit is all about the global marketing officer of General Motors, Joe Lewanek. In the following clip, I asked him how they're marketing Chevrolet all around the world since Chevy is pretty much an American brand. Well, here's what he had to say. I'm, I'm pretty sure that um, the folks down in South America appreciate Chevrolet more than they do here in North America. I, I'm just telling you, they love um, <laughs> Chevrolet and General Motors. They put the two together um, quite a bit. And in Sao Paulo, you would, you're just as likely to see a Chevrolet hat or a logo somewhere as, as uh, you would see anything else, even in, in, the, in the United States. And it's funny, I, I was in a meeting, we're talking about uh, communication strategies for Western Europe. And they're presenting their strategies to me, what they want to do, and they're telling me all these ideas they have. And they want to do a Route 66 themed idea because they're saying their customers like everything American, except maybe our politics. Right. <laughs> so they, they don't buy into the politics and our policies, but they really like this Americana. There's a lot of shared values that we have inside of the Chevrolet brand, the people, the freedom, the open road. These things, these are, these are shared things that the Chinese care about. Uh, they care about in Thailand. So these are the things, these common areas that we're going to find around Chevrolet that we're going to use as a, a, the pillars of our communication everywhere. It's actually pretty easy. Um, being an American brand isn't negative. If you look in, in, um, if you look in China, I think six or seven of the top brands in China are all American brands, right? So that it's the politics, it's the issues around that that you have to avoid and talk about the, you know, the cool parts of being an American and the freedom. And so we're gonna do that, we're gonna do more of that. By the way, Peter DeLorenzo, the auto extremist, and Chrissy Thompson from the Detroit Free Press are on the panel for that show. And you can watch the whole show right now on our website or check out your local public television listings for AutoLine Detroit. And as always, you can catch tonight's live broadcast of Roundabout for a fun start to your weekend. This week, we'll show you how you can give your Camaro the chrome treatment and show you a road in Europe where seatbelts are illegal. All that and a whole lot more at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time tonight as, you guessed it, AutolineDetroit.tv. And that's today's report on the top news in the global automotive industry. Thanks for watching. We'll see you Monday. Network with top decision makers at the Wards Auto Interiors Conference on May 17th in Dearborn. Keynote speakers are Ralph Gilles, Senior VP of Product Design at Chrysler, and Robert Gilardi, Senior Lead Designer for the Ford Mustang, plus high-level speakers from GM, Toyota, Hyundai, and more. Register now at autointeriors.com.